Upwork Time Tracker. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can use Upwork's Time Tracker. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on Google, I'm just simply going to go over to Upwork, Upwork.com and I'm going to show you how you can find the time checking software. So over here, what you're going to need to do is just simply log in into your Upwork account, all right? Log in with Google and once you've done that, this is how it's going to look like. So now what you're going to need to do is just simply go ahead and download the tracker. So just simply scroll at the bottom. At the very bottom, you will see the desktop app. Simply click on it and it's going to take you over to the download application where you just choose your Windows version and then you just simply download the Upworks desktop application. With it, it's going to download the time tracking software as well. So you don't have to worry about that. So it's pretty simple to use. You don't have to worry about that. I'm going to show you how you can use it. You can use it to track all of your projects. So it's going to take about 20 seconds. So I'll catch you guys in a second. All right. Now that it's been downloaded, what we'll do is we'll just simply install the application. So as you can see, it's installing right now. It's loading up. And once it's done that, we are good to go. So over here, this is how it's going to basically look like. This is going to be your time tracking option over here. This is basically going to be how you're going to track your time. All right. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and log in. All right. So once you have installed the application, this is how it's going to look like. So we'll just simply click on next, next, next. I'll just minimize the window so that you can see it better. Just simply click on next. Got it. And boom, here we go. So over here, this is how it's going to look like. This is going to be your time tracking software right here. This is going to be your messaging application. You don't need to see that. It doesn't matter because this is how it's going to look like. So over here, you're going to have your jobs over here. You're going to have your projects. And over here, what you're going to do is just simply click on a project that you're working on and then just simply click on turn on. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and turn on the time tracking software. Now, I'm not going to turn it on because I haven't worked with these guys in a while now and it would be unethical if I just turn it on and they're going to get the notification. But this is how it's going to look like. We turn it on. It's going to start tracking your time. And over here, you can add a memo that can allow them to see what you're actually working on. And then you can add a timer as well. So pretty simple, right? Nothing too complicated. Oh, I think it closed. Let me just open it up again. So as I said before, this is how it's going to look like, right? So over here, this is how it's going to look like. Over here, you can add your memos. And over here is going to be the screenshot that it's going to take. So what it's going to do is whenever you're working on it, after I would say... 10 minutes, if I remember correctly, 10 minutes, it's going to take a screenshot of your desktop and it's going to allow the client, the person you're working for, to see what you're actually working on. It's going to show you the time activity and where, how much is the time you've worked, how much is the active time, how much is the idle time as well. So as I said before, you can go ahead and you know take some screenshots over here. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention is this messaging app, all right? This is just a tip for me to you guys, all right? Just a heads up if you're going to go ahead and start freelancing. You got to know this. Tip number one, never, ever suggest, you know, you work outside of Upwork. Never, all right? If, because that's against Upwork's policy, if they found out a message there because they see your messages over here, they keep a track of it. If they found out that, you know, you or your client have suggested to, you know, take your business elsewhere because, you know, Upwork takes 20% of your income. If you decide that, then they're going to immediately shut you down. They're going to suspend your profile. Um, God forbid they're going to, you know, ban your profile and then you'll not be able to create an account. It happened to me. One of my clients suggested we should take our business, you know, elsewhere. Like he, he said that he'd pay me on, on Payoneer or PayPal. And uh, even though I said, don't stop, don't text anymore. Otherwise, you're going to get us both banned. Um, they saw that one text message and they suspended me for like about a week. And yeah, that happened. So keep that in mind. Luckily, my account wasn't suspended, but, uh, you know, remember that never. I think it's 20 percent, but I think they might have, you know, recently I heard that they might have, you know, lowered their commission rate to maybe like 10 percent. But I'm not entirely sure. 
but uh, yeah, keep that in mind. All right. So anyway, the topic was for the time tracker, right? So it's pretty simple. Just turn it on. It's going to track your time. It's going to take screenshots. And also, it, as I said before, it's going to keep an activity of your, you know, time that you worked with and uh, your client can see how much you've actually worked and how much is your idle time. And then he's not going to pay you for that idle time. Or if he sees something wrong, then he's going to, you know, call you out on it or stuff like that. So you can't basically cheat on Upwork. That's one of the reasons why people like Upwork. It's because of their security and their system that they've set up. You can't really cheat your way into or out of Upwork. And it's very difficult. If someone says that he's done it, okay, good. That doesn't mean that you should try it. If you're working with Upwork, stay on Upwork. Don't try to go out here or there. It's not a good idea. I would never recommend that. Okay, so I said I couldn't basically show you how it actually works, you know, because of the screenshots and the notification, because this person is going to see the screenshots and he might, you know, report me or something because our contract has ended. So as an example, I'm just going to use time doc here to show you how it actually you know works how it looks like right because they're both really similar to each other like the screenshots are very similar so let me show you just simply going to sign in over here download it and i'll show you how the screenshots are going to look like because the screenshot basically you know takes a screenshot every five to ten minutes of your screen and it sees what you're doing whenever you click on your keyboard whenever you click on your mouse it's going to keep track of that and uh, you know gonna see the activity the more activity you have the less likely it is to take screenshots so i think that's what it is so now i'm just gonna go with time tracker over here i'm just gonna enter in the name click on next team members and then i'm just simply gonna skip this step for now and i'm gonna show you how it looks like all right so this is how it looks like right so if we come over here onto let's say time tracker over here this is how it's gonna look like right so let me just install the desktop application for it as well. There we go. So it's going to install. But basically, this is how it's going to look like. Over here, you're going to have all of your accounts. You know, this is how the time doctor looks like. But this is how it's going to look like for your client. It's going to see all the time track, the mobile time and the active time and the unproductive time and all of that. It's going to keep a track of all of it so that he can see if you're actually working on your tasks or not. And if he suspects you or not, then he's going to, you know, talk to you about it and not pay you for that hour. But it, you know, it's just to like an added extra layer of security. So it's going to be done in about 10 seconds. So catch you guys in a second. All right. So this is Time Doctor over here, as you can see. So if I just simply click on the task I'm working on over here, as you can see, now the task is working on. So now it's going to go ahead and take some screenshots and I will be able to see all of the work as well. So. I'm just simply going to let it run, for, you know, keep pressing my keyboard and my mouse key to get the activity level up. And hopefully we can see how it looks like. So I'm just simply going to pause this video right here and I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, so this is how it looks like, right? So if I come over here onto reports, if I go over to dashboard real quick, I can go ahead and see the amount of work. As you can see, uh, the productivity time was five minutes and the timer ran for about six minutes and 30 seconds. So as you can see, this is the computer time, the manual time and the mobile time. Over here is the idle time in minutes. Over here, as you can see, a zero minutes out of six minutes, zero minutes over here. And over here, the productivity time is at least six minutes. So as you can see, that works 100%. Time doctor over here, IDM integrator. As you can see two minutes over here it actually shows you what the top used websites and applications that i have been using so it also works even though i was using you know google documents just to you know write a bunch of stuff but no it works so as you can see over here this is how it looks like now i can't basically see any screenshots as of right now because i don't think i have it enabled but i think i need to run it for at least 10 minutes on time doctor for it to you know take a screenshot but you get the point right this is how it looks like and this is how it works so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care goodbye